I'm so sorry, I forgot, I cannot hear you. Please, 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 please. Today, today it's all about how you eliminate and erase an identity, a culture and people. This is the story of how I and my family became Norwegianized. Hooray. We were forced to leave our language and everything else behind to become proud Norwegian citizens. But we never made it and we are still faking it. Do you have a lighter? After the Second World War, when the Germans had burned down all the houses, the Sea Sami tribe, like my grandmother, were given an impossible choice. Either hide and forget their culture and get a new house and land, or keep their Sami identity and remain poor and houseless. This is my dear granny. She never actually understood how it was to be Norwegian, but she tried. And unfortunately, she was one of the person uh, trying to hit the Sami out of me. Knife and fork was scary. We ate a lot of cod and fish. It was me and my granny. We were enjoying food. And when we were alone, we ate with our fingers, like Sami does. And we talked about the weather. Okay, kan vi ha en på besök igår? Okay, ja. Okay, kan han vilja då på något sätt? And I, I really remember this situation as the most precious thing I have from my childhood. There's somebody at the door. <gasps> oh no! Oh my god! Alarma! Oh my god! 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 Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Sit straight, I knew, as a Norwegian, and oh, no hands. What's Menu. happening here? What? Are you pretending to eat with fork and knife? Yeah, but we are. Like pretending not to be a Sami, a simple Sami. Are they? Are you? The fork goes to the left. What? Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And a knife to the right. I understand you're so fond of eating without cutlery. Because I can see you never done this before. So eat this instead. Eat it. Eat it all. Eat it. Eat it. Swallow it. Mm. And on Monday you buy a new one, okay? <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, how was this again? Okay, left, right. We were so afraid of being looked upon as idiots, like animals. Uh, today still, when there is nobody around, I'm totally alone without my granny. I enjoy eating mm, food with my hands. I still don't know the correct way, the correct way of using it. Home decoration, interior design. Because in a Sami world, uh, decoration means nothing. Oh. In a Sami world, everything is simple, everything is practical. It's dull. But that was out of the question. So we had to uh, fake a Norwegian home. You run for magazines and see, can we find... So, oh look! How they have inside. Look, there's wine over there. Okay, and you have some pictures over there. You need a ugly picture of a dull Norwegian scenery. <laughs> and that's really a paradox because if you looked outside the window, the scenery was much more beautiful than this picture. But the picture was important, my granny said. A bookshelf. Okay. And actually, Sami, we have ori oral storytelling tradition. So books, mm, I'm not sure if everyone knew how to read. A fat, big encyclopedia. There, 
and maybe a book about the royal family of course bottles <coughs> of alcohol and the Samis they only drank uh, moonshine we we got some uh, real uh, bottles of booze you know gin and wine that's then you show off your Norwegian-ness slower oh, oh oh that must go away like this look so <laughs> Uh, I grew up in this uh, fake Norwegian home where we had ugly pictures, empty bottles of booze, uh, books that nobody read and green plants that always died. And I think my granny thought that if I grew up in such a beautiful Norwegian environment the Sami heritage would be pushed down to my toes and the Norwegian-ness would rise up into my head and heart and everything. Because it always had to look like a Norwegian home in case some guest would arrive. Mr. Norway. So much. Hello, Mr. Norway. This is so yeah. police. Yeah, yeah. Hi, please. I can see you. No, 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 no. Don't sit on Granny, please. Sit here, down here. Look at our beautiful Norwegian uh, home. Is this beautiful? Yes, we is have uh, Encyclopedia. We have the royal Why family. Is it a garden plant. No, no, no. It's an Encyclopedia. It's supposed to yeah. be at least. 24 books of Norwegian history and encyclopedias. Uh, and I can see you are fond of drinking. No, no, it's spirits. decoration. De it's decoration. It's empty like your head, isn't it? Isn't this supposed to be empty? Yeah. Ugly for beautiful. you, I brought you a present. Oh. It's a Thank gin. you. I Look, Granny, we have a new. But uh, it's not for decoration, it's oh. for you to drink. That's no, a penalty yeah, no. for trying to decorate with empty gin bottles, you moron. You're Sami. Come on. Buttons up. What? Drink. Come on. Come on. Mmm. 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 As a child, I was taught that Sami people, they were dirty. You could see and smell a Sami on a distance and they were disgusting. So what did you do? So, oh, whore granny, what did she do? What did she tell us to do? You have to wash. And each day we were washing and we were cleaning and everything was supposed to be shiny Why? and good smelly because we were Norwegian, we were not Sami and we couldn't, oh look the dirt and I had to clean myself, show your Norwegian-ness and I'm sure that if my granny could have done it, she didn't she would have cleaned my eyes. Hello. Hi. Look, I'm washing. Oh. I am Norwegian. I am washing. You missed the spot no. here. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I'm, I'm not smelly. I think I can smell some. No, here. no, no. And you know the no. penalties. No, no. Come on. No! With your fingers, put no. them here. No, please, please no. Put them here. Uh. Are you ready? Ah! Oh. 99! Ow! Oh. Ow! Oh. Ow! Oh. 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 When there was no more blood left, we could go out in the street and point at our cousins the other Samis that had not become Norwegian uh, hold our noses, pretend to be Norwegian and point. Ha 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 Look at those ugly, ugly, dirty, smelly Samis! Go! 
God is a crow. Good Norwegians are Christians. God-fearing Lutheran Protestants. My granny took me to church each Sunday and I sat there throughout my childhood and listened to that angry Lutheran preach preaching about only having one God and that's it and he was warning us of all the other stuff and we were like please make us more Norwegian we will teach your book we want to be like that but and when me and my granny went out from the church you have a different faith you believe in the spirits of the wind in the force of the mountain and most dangerous of them all are birds if you were in a heavy situation on the sea or in the woods and something happened suddenly you forgot that you were a christian and you started to listen to the bird, to the crow. What do the crow say? But we could not speak about it. Nobody spoke about it. But everyone was afraid. Until this day, I am more afraid of a crow, an angry crow, than I am of a God's wrath. What do I hear here? No, no, no. Where don't, is my flag? Please, don't Where tell. Where is my flag? No, no, no. Don't flag. tell anyone. I promise. I'm sorry. I, I hear. Shouldn't, I shouldn't you speak about it. You are not praying to God. I should not God. speak about it. You're praying I to should not, speak not about religious it. people. I, I should not speak about it. I think I have it. to. I have no religion. I have Do not laugh. Kan du säga bättre? Uff, jag han dö. Jag han är dö. And there were some rules. When me and her sat together, uh, the conversation and the dialogue was always a bit sad. Oh ja, a bit serious. Och när ser du det? And what do you mean? Yeah, and always... Who are dead? Yeah, it was death are they dead and too? Uh, end of days. And everything was dark and black and very serious. And sometimes, you know, I was a child. I could watch television, look at a cartoon. And suddenly I thought the cartoon was funny. So I went... <laughs> and then, no! Shut up! In Norwegian, it's not. In Norwegians are not supposed to laugh. If you're a proper Norwegian, you're not laughing. You're serious, dead, dead serious. But my granny was actually uh, allowed to speak Sami with her peers. When some old Sami people came to our house, and I was sitting on the floor and watching, and they sat down. And my granny, she said, Chwaka Boris, Boris. And, and they were like, Chwaka Mata, Kwasa Mata. And I was looking at my grandmother and I was thinking, she's like two different persons. And I thought, oh my God, Norwegians are dead boring. I wish I was a Sami. I wish I could speak Sami. I think I heard someone Chua. laughing here. Did they? Oh, no, 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 sorry, 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 I forgot, I forgot. I'm not Sami, I'm not Sami, I'm not Sami. I am, I am a dead serious, I'm a dead serious Norwegian person. My mouth goes down. Look, look, look. I'm not smiling. I'm only talking about death. They were reported <sighs> laughing from no, no, this no, no, house. No, 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 no. We had enough of you and your family. You are not real Norwegians. Yes. You are just pretending. No, no, we no. We had enough. Tomorrow morning, 
you are out of this house. I know that the Sami people were not alone. So please, if you have a story that are similar to mine or you have thoughts about what happened to your Sami, please share your thoughts and reflection with us. Uh, post us a comment, we love to read them. Until next time... Sing, sing another song! Uh, okay then! Yeah, we're scared to tell them.